Manila's commercial ties with Russia are warming up. The embassy here says Russian firms are very interested in investing the country's transportation systems and power plants. In fact, they have already asked for assistance from the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, or PCCI. One issue, though, the majority of the Filipinos still distrust Russia. For Russian Ambassador to the Philippines, Igor Kovayev, though, this is not much of an issue. Here is the first part of my exclusive interview with him. So, uh, I know the results only one, uh, one survey made by the Pulse Asia. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, according to that survey, uh, about 35% of Filipinos trust Russia. Of course, it's much less as compared with the trust for the United States. But it seems to me, given the history of our relations, yes. given uh, the current state on local mass media field, I think uh, this result is not bad. Yes. It's a promising, it's a promising result. Mm -hmm. So despite, despite decades of anti-Russian propaganda mm -hmm. here in your country, mm -hmm. huge anti-Russian uh, cultural influence mm -hmm. and mass media influence, mm -hmm. despite all that, at least one third of Filipinos mm -hmm. trust my country. Mm -hmm. That's a really, uh, it's a good result. So there is something to build on. Yes, definitely. So okay. it's a good basis. Okay. It's a good basis for developing, for okay. developing our relations. Okay. Uh, how would you characterize the, the, the change in relationships in, uh, over the, the first half year of the Duterte administration? Uh, in my view, it's a, it's a period of big hopes. Mm -hmm. It's a period of new opportunities. It's a period of a new big chance, mm -hmm. which shouldn't be missed. Mm -hmm. Chance to enhance our bilateral relations mm -hmm. in the interest, legitimate interest of our two nations mm -hmm. and in the interest of regional uh, peace and stability. For us, for Russians, it's very important to build partnership with all countries uh, in the Asian Pacific region. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's, uh, for us, it's uh, a very important, uh, very necessary precondition for successful development of our Far Eastern and Siberian regions. Mm -hmm. In fact, the, uh, Russia and the Philippines uh, very recently just uh, formalized the start for preparations for the inaugural meeting of the Joint uh, Commission on Trade and Economic Cooperation. Yes, right. uh, what specific areas do you think uh, should be exciting both for Russia and the Philippines? Yes, it's a new mechanism for our two countries. And by the way, the agreement uh, on the establishment of this Joint Trade and Economic Commission was signed mm -hmm. uh, by the previous administration of your country. Mm -hmm. In November 2015, 2015 yes, right. on the sidelines mm -hmm. of the APEC summit mm -hmm. uh, in Manila. So it confirms that there is an objective need mm -hmm. to enhance our bilateral cooperation in different field, mm -hmm. fields. It doesn't depend on this or that politician. Yes. That's, this need is objective. That's not a, a personal wish. Mm -hmm. So uh, now the the uh, most important goal of uh, this commission to identify specific areas where we, we can and should closely cooperate. Well, that's a, that's a good point because I, I did intend to, to ask um, where we're starting from and the, need, the, the big room for improvement in relations, especially in trade and economic cooperation. What had been the barrier to that? I think uh, there was a package of different factors, both objective and subjective. Mm. We see that uh, in many fields, our two countries can complement each other, mm. can help each other. Yeah. Because uh, there is no competition between our two countries. Yes. What about By the way, the, the, histori the historical legacy is very positive. Mm -hmm. There are no political contradictions or differences, between, mm -hmm. no disputes mm -hmm. between our two countries. What's needed now is uh, a political will. Okay. So a real aspiration aspiration to to learn each other okay so we need to we need to take uh, to take combined efforts mm -hmm. because it's 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 always quite difficult to explore new markets yes. new countries mm -hmm. so personal efforts are required mm -hmm. efforts and will okay and a consistent and persistent approach okay. so we have really favorable preconditions for that now be but nothing can be done automatically okay so personal efforts okay. should be concentrated Okay. That. A petroleum crude accounts for a, a more than 40% of Philippine imports from Russia. Russia, of course, is one of the biggest non-OPEC uh, 
uh, uh, oil producers. Uh, can the Philippines benefit, uh, or I is there any strategic exploration on, on the possibility of a, a strategic supply deal with Russia uh, in line with, with all of the relations and all the touch points that we want to develop? So now, a few Russian companies, they are studying new opportunities of uh, business activities here in the Philippines. Because uh, we have a lot to offer, not only crude oil mm -hmm. and natural gas but a lot of oil and gas products. We have companies which are interested to, in participating in the modernization of your uh, energy infrastructure mm -hmm. in the Philippines. So another promising sector is transportation. Transportation mm -hmm. infrastructure, mm -hmm. which uh, should be modernized mm -hmm. in your country. Yes. So we have sophisticated technologies. We have advanced equipment. We have highly skilled engineers and workers, and we are ready to participate in the realization of uh, these projects uh, in the Philippines. Another promising field, field telecom is telecommunications, yes. space industry. Mm -hmm. So, and of course, energy sector mm -hmm. as a whole, mm -hmm. including the use of uh, nuclear, mm -hmm. nuclear energy for peaceful purposes, not only in the economic field, mm -hmm. but, but also uh, for uh, research development, mm -hmm. definitely. So believe me, please, we have a lot to offer. And of course, the Russian market is open yes. for products from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. As far as these potentials are concerned, are there specific timelines or targets that uh, either country, uh, and Russia in particular, is, is looking at? Uh, first of all, we need to create a solid legal basis. Mm -hmm. So our legal basis, which is absolutely necessary for productive, mm -hmm. productive long-term business context okay. is very weak now. Okay. And uh, now we are preparing a package mm -hmm. of uh, documents on cooperation, uh, on bilateral cooperation in different fields to be signed during the official visit by His Excellency President Duterte to Russia. So I'm sure it will help a lot. Okay.